How to negotiate once you're in the car dealer finance office. The box, the loan lagoon, the contract cave, and the debt dungeon. Okay, Kevin, we get it. Nobody wants to be there, but... But if you know what you're doing, the finance office isn't as scary or intimidating as it sounds. Today, we're going to break it all down for you. By the end of this video, you'll know if you're ready, or maybe not ready at all, to go head-to-head with the highest paid salesman in the whole dealership, the finance officer. Yes, I did say salesman. We also have additional help and resources on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, for those of you who may need it. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, The Homework Guy, and right across the way is Amazing Elizabeth. You ready for this, Liz? I am so ready, Kevin. Friends, we're going to move quickly to give a thorough overview on dealer finance, but please, as always, feel free to comment below if there's anything we discuss that you'd like to hear more about. I'm also thinking of a possible part two on this subject, as there's a lot to know about this office, so make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to keep in touch. First off is preparation before visiting the dealership. We talk about this a lot. Oh, yeah. Before stepping foot into a dealership, you should already have a clear idea of your financing options. This involves getting a pre-approval for a loan from your own bank or credit union. There are plenty of reasons for this and why it's so important. A loan pre-approval not only provides you with a concrete understanding of what interest rates you qualify for, but it also gives you leverage when negotiating in the finance office. For starters, you can make the finance officer try to meet or beat your loan offer. Also, if the finance officer tries to tell you that he or she can get you a better rate if you buy a certain product from them, claiming their bank wants you to have it, you can say, well, that's interesting because my own banker gave me a great rate and didn't mention one word about that product. All right. Well, assuming you've already done a good job of negotiating the price of the vehicle from the comfort of home ahead of time, and you've negotiated a good out-the-door price, you're ready for a sit-down in the finance office. The most important thing to remember, stay calm, confident, and focused. Very focused. Just take one thing at a time. Don't let high-pressure sales tactics of the finance officer throw you off your game. Relax, breathe deeply, my friends. The finance officer may try to overwhelm you with numbers and jargon and signatures, but remember that you are actually the one in control. This is your money, so just be assertive. Politely but firmly decline any offers or terms you're uncomfortable with. Always take your time. Don't rush into a decision. If you need more time to think, just ask for it. Don't get sucked into rushing by a finance officer who says, don't worry, I'll get you out of here quickly. That kind of statement is usually a cover-up statement for pushing you to ignore what you're actually signing. And they do love to say that. Yep. We've said this before, but it is worth repeating. You absolutely must separate all of the negotiations, and there are three. The visit into finance is the third part of your vehicle negotiation. Remember... Also, that the second part of the negotiation was your trade, and we covered that just a few days ago in this video. Dealerships often blend these negotiations in the hopes that they can get you focused on numbers that are meaningless. Those kinds of tactics can make it harder to see the true cost of the loan. By focusing on the total cost of your purchase, which is visible right on your car contract, you can avoid the monthly payment trap. Dealers often try to get you more focused on an affordable monthly payment, ignoring the total cost what you'll pay. Quote, affordable. <clears throat> yeah. This can hide the true cost of the car from your consideration, so don't fall for it. Always ask for all terms in writing. Request that all terms and conditions be provided in writing before you sign anything. Make them print it out instead of showing it to you on an iPad or some other electronic device. Just today, a woman contacted me, and she had gotten hoodwinked with this strategy. Computers hide a lot of scams pulled on car buyers. Indeed. If you're financing, the physically printed copies should show interest rate, loan term, monthly payment, and any additional fees. Carefully review the terms to ensure they match what you have discussed. This is how Stuart takes care of our people, and it's working swimmingly well. After he negotiates a car deal for one of our viewers, he sends them all the pre-negotiated details in writing. All they have to do is compare those written out-the-door details to what the dealer has ready for them to sign at the dealership. They just sign and drive. It's the one time that just signing and driving is actually a pretty good thing. Yeah. This is the office where a little knowledge of state and federal law comes in handy and where most people miss the mark in the finance office negotiations. You must understand your rights. We've gone over the FTC CARS rule extensively in several videos, but let me say this. People comment and email us all the time to say, is the CARS rule even in effect? And the answer in so many words is actually yes. yes. The update to the CARS rule is simply a clarification of federal laws already on the books, and these apply in every state. And while it's true that the FTC is in court right now with NADA, Arguing why we need additional muscle behind these laws 
so that when any dumb dealer gets out of line, they can bring the hammer of the law down on them. Dealers have already paid tens of millions in FTC fines for violating the details spelled out in the FTC CARS rule. Here are some additional key points to watch out for in the finance office. The principal amount is the initial sum that you borrow, which is essentially the price of the car after your down payment and any trade in value is applied. The interest rate is the cost of borrowing that money. It's expressed as a percentage and usually is a fixed number. The loan term is a duration that you have to repay the loan, typically expressed in months. We always recommend taking a 36 or 48 month loan at the longest to pay off your vehicle, but it is acceptable to take the car loan of 62 months or longer on purpose in order to pay it off early at a comfortable pace without the prepayment penalty. That's right. We have so many cash buyers on our channel, it's worth mentioning that there's a whole video dedicated to taking the loan to get better treatment and immediately paying it off. Check it out here. It's a great way to get the garbage of your car loan off without a big fight because loan officers are a little more willing to work with people who take out a car loan. Yeah, just a little bit. But if you need a loan, here are some tips on monthly payments. Your monthly payment includes both principal and interest. It's crucial to understand how much you'll pay each month and what portion goes toward the principal versus interest. Loans from credit unions are usually the same amount of principal and interest in each car loan payment. Loans from car dealers and many of their banks are front-loaded with mostly interest being paid at the beginning of a loan and mostly principal towards the end of the loan. Mortgages are the same, by the way, so making extra payments early on is huge for decreasing the total amount that you'll spend. The down payment is the amount you pay up front when purchasing the car. A larger down payment reduces the principal amount, which can lower monthly payments and total interest paid. While some dealers may offer zero down as an incentive, a down payment of at least 20% is recommended to avoid being upside down on your loan and then needing gap insurance. Yep. And that's if your car is selling at the correct market price. If it's greatly inflated, it may be necessary to pay 30% down or more or plan to tack on a few hundred more onto your car payment each month. Of course, there are the famous fake fees and additional costs. These can include fake fees like application fees, origination fees, document fees, prep fees, and the like. The actual legal fees come from your state that you're registering your car in, and that includes things like title, tax, and registration fees, and sales tax. The simplest way to find out ahead of time is to get in touch with your own DMV office and get them to quote you the required state fees and taxes. So if you didn't know, APR, annual percentage rate, includes the interest rate plus any additional fees, giving you the true cost of the loan over a year. The car itself is the collateral for the loan. So if you can't make your payments, the lender can repossess the vehicle. Yep. And there are some YouTube creators out there right now that are obsessed with this. It's unfortunate. It is happening, but do what makes sense for you. At this point, make sure you've read the entire agreement carefully. Ask questions if anything is unclear. You should be given all the time necessary to properly review the papers. Don't let yourself be rushed. Remember, it's your money and your future. You need to do this right. If you're able, ask for the papers ahead of time so you simply have to compare the two copies just like Stuart does. It's part of the secret sauce here at THG. If the finance officer is too aggressive or you feel uncomfortable with the terms, be prepared to walk away. Totally. Sometimes showing that you're willing to leave can lead to better offers. Remember, you are not obligated to accept the first offer they put out there. Walking away can give you time to consider other options to negotiate better terms. This is called blowing up the deal, and it's always a nightmare for the finance manager. Believe me, after you're gone, he's going to get his butt chewed from upper management. <laughs> it's far better for a dealer to accept a deal with less profit and actually finish the deal than it is to let the deal blow up and lose all the time and effort they put into trying to sell you a car. It's also important, friends, to keep these things in perspective. How often do you buy a house? Are you an expert if you've only done something once or twice in your lifetime? Car loans are also complicated, and for most people, the second biggest money-related decision that they'll ever make. Preparation and knowledge are your best tools. By researching financing options, understanding the car's value, and being aware of the various elements of a car loan, you can enter the finance office with confidence. Stay calm, stay focused, ask for all terms in writing, and be prepared to walk away if necessary. With these strategies, you can secure a fair and favorable car loan that meets your needs. 
If you're not feeling very confident about car shopping, it's okay. You can sign up to get my help via email or text from our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Email help is $24.99 and texting is $49.99 and both packages are good for 30 days. And if you missed it before, you can also try our hassle-free car buying service with Stuart's help. You can expect to save four to six times the cost of the service and you'll never find an easier way to buy a car. We guarantee it. Some people save even a lot more than that. After all the years of doing what we've done for people here on YouTube, I can honestly say that getting Stuart involved with our Homework Guy team has been one of the best decisions we've made for helping consumers. Everyone saves many times more than the cost to work with Stuart, but just in case, there's a money-back guarantee. Yes. Now, if you've made it this far, I have a special offer for the first five people to respond by text to me at 701-441-3399 saying, I just watched your new Fake Fees video. I will give away five free phone calls worth 15 minutes with Kevin Hunter to the first five people who respond with a text with this message to me. Do it quickly because these opportunities for free help always go quickly. By the way, Kevin does allow you to use this free 15-minute phone call to set yourself up with Stuart, and that saves you $100 on the service. That's right. Thanks again to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. To all of our longtime loyal subscribers, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Thanks for listening.